and it's it's pretty scary to think about. You know, it it, it makes you question if you're really safe within the crosswalks. I do use the crosswalks and uh, mostly just to get to meals, go to class, uh, go to the student center, things like that. Uh, yes, I do use the crosswalks um, when I'm going to the student center or over to Convo. I do feel safe walking across the streets. Um, I feel like there are many, many crosswalks that are provided by Ashley University. And I feel like I'm pretty much, you know, uh, to an extent safe within those limits. Um, just one time. I've been here for four years. And uh, one time there was a car that didn't stop and just went through. And myself and some other people were just about to cross. I mean, I have been put into some kind of dangerous situations uh, a couple times while in the crosswalks. Uh, a lot of times when there's a yellow light and you think that the last car has been stopped uh, a lot of times. It doesn't turn in time and uh, a driver goes past and almost hits you. Uh, I know a lot of times uh, some drivers will pull up too far across the crosswalks and be in the middle of them and a lot of times that puts the people trying to walk or the driver both at risk for some sort of lawsuit. So I've heard actually a, a few people been hit in crosswalks specifically at Ashlands University. Um, not on the uh, the main one where the fast road is, it's more of the ones where uh, you're walking uh, out of the student center, um, kind of towards the quad, um, and also in that parking lot. There is a crosswalk there, but it's not marked very, very plainly through the parking lot so that you really, as a driver, couldn't tell that you are legally supposed to stop there. Um, I, I know of one person, I don't know the girl personally, but uh, she's a member of uh, the track and field team. And there was an incident last year where she was within the crosswalks and um, she was hit by a car. And um, it's something very unfortunate. It was by a driver that, of course, wasn't paying attention, you know, because she was, of course, crossing within the walk at the time. And it's, it's pretty scary to think about, you know. It, it, it makes you question if you're really safe within the crosswalks. Uh, I do not always believe they're dangerous to walk on, however, uh, I have encountered a few times where my, my life was put on the line while I was crossing the street. I don't think they're dangerous to walk across. I think um, both the pedestrians walking across the street as well as the drivers need to be careful and more aware. Yes, it is hard to drive, um, even though there is warnings and there's a speed bump. Um, sometimes you think a person is just going to stay there and wait for you to pass and then you start to go and then they'll step out into the street. Um, so again, I just think students need to look both ways or, or anyone crossing the street needs to look both ways and make sure that the person is actually going to stop before they cross. Uh, I use the crosswalks more. Uh, the bridge I only use really to go to the student center. I, I do use it when I need to go to the student center, but most of the time I use the crosswalks because it's faster. Uh, I, feel, I feel like it is. I, I feel like it's, it's, it's definitely fair because I mean, a lot of you know AU students, you know, including myself, need to realize the the, the severity of jaywalking and realize that. Uh, that you know, it can it can be dangerous. You know, either we as students can get hurt, or we can cause an accident or anything of that criteria. So, I, f I feel like three hundred dollars is a valid price. Personally, I think what could be done to to pretty much help safety on the street um, is pretty much, you know, making bigger indicators. You know, letting letting drivers know that. Um, that you know, students can cross at this point of the street at, at any given time. You know, um, I feel like the only the only solid indicator is is really um, over there by Burger King at that crosswalk. Other than that, you know, there's not really many solid indicators that a AU student could cross here at, at any moment. But you know, I mean, still that only helps to an extent because you know you still have that one driver in particular that still isn't paying attention, or that one student that is walking, you know, across at a, at a random time. So I mean. That could possibly help, but you know, once again, only to an extent.
Uh, I think the the situation with crosswalks would become better if the buttons on our streets actually worked. Um, that way, you knew for a fact that you were going to be able to cross the street when you clicked the button, uh, instead of them just doing nothing. A skywalk was put right across uh, where the other one is, uh, actually at the light, and didn't go straight to the student center. Actually, just only cross the street. I would use it almost every day. Uh, maybe just some more warnings. Um beforehand, you know, you, you get kind of close before you actually see the warnings that you need to stop for pedestrians on Claremont. Um, I think cars drive faster than they do on King Road by the Student Center. So on Claremont, I think there needs to be some more warnings and maybe even a stop sign um, or stop light where, you know, you're stopped for a little while so people can cross the street and it's um, safer than for both the drivers and the walkers.